I want to share something with you. I want to share an email that I received just today. And I'm not going to tell, I'm not going to reveal the uh, the people's full name, but I got an email from John, and he brought up a good topic. And we've talked about this before. It has to do with, you know, the affordability factor of being able to live in a country like Ecuador. And I, as soon as I come back, we'll get started on it. Hey. Oh, rock a cheek, rock a Hello there. So here he goes. Here's what John wrote to me, and uh, I'm I'm just going to read the email, and then I'm going to offer my feedback on it. Okay. Hello, Don. I hope that you are well and you are enjoying your time back in Arizona. I follow your channel as well as numerous others on retiring in Ecuador, but I decided to reach out to you because you seem to have a no bullshit insight. The others just seem to be seem too positive and unrealistic to be entirely true, just rainbows and unicorns. And boy, I tell you, I I can't say that enough. There there's so many people that just want to be a YouTube creator and make gobs of money on YouTube talking about living in Ecuador, then I really think that they completely missed the point of it all. So anyway, so here's my deal, and I'm hoping that I can receive your opinion. My wife and I interested in retiring early. My wife and I interested in retiring early. Who wouldn't unless you really love your career, which I do not. I am 52. My wife is 48. So my concerns are money and lifestyle. Currently, we do not have a luxurious lifestyle. Normal, I would assume, out to dinner once a week and a brewery or so on Saturdays a couple a couple times a month. Vacation once or twice a year, inexpensive resorts in Mexico or the DR. I don't, oh, is that Dominican Republic, I'm going to assume? We would love to retire early so we could spend time together and explore hobbies while we are young. That's a good idea. Man, I'll tell you what. I don't know how many times I've thought to myself, I'm so glad I retired because now I can really spend time doing what I really like to do, which is not working. <laughs> you know, spending time with my hobbies. We won't go into that. That's a whole other video. So anyway, to continue, he said, um, we live in the Northeast Connecticut and everything is so expensive and I do not foresee anything going down our wages to go up to match the rapid inflation anytime soon. I've been researching for over a year now, and everything I've read is that we we could live comfortably for around two thousand a month. I realize that everyone's lifestyle differs, though. If I cash out and liquidate, I would have five hundred thousand conservatively. Five hundred k equals two thousand a month for twenty years. I'll be seventy-two then, and my Social Security will kick in at age sixty-five with around 3 k a month. So with just those basic figures, it seems like it should be easy. That's without investing money in Ecuador banks with fantastic CDs, rates averaging 8 to 10% annually, or keeping a portion of my money here invested or both. My apologies for the lengthy email. Oh, you said, oh, you said I'm, I missed the sentence here. We are interested so far in the areas like Cuenca, Loja, and Olón. My, I definitely have opinions about those three places. My apologies for the lengthy email, LOL, but I feel like I had to reach out to someone with an honest opinion and get boots on the ground. Everyone here we talk with here about this subject thinks we have lost our minds. Oh, well, I know that feeling. Thank you very much for your time. I'm available to chat on WhatsApp if that is easier for you. Have a fantastic day, John. So, John, yeah, man, in the first place, so let me say this, okay, and, and everybody don't get the wrong impression. I'm not dissing Ecuador, okay? I, I, I tell everybody all the time, you know, when you start thinking about a place to retire to that's abroad, you have to weigh the pros and cons. It's like the scales of justice, you know, you're... Ecuador is a I have a love-hate relationship with Ecuador and but I'm telling you if you want to be in South America John 
uh, definitely consider Cuenca, okay? I don't know about Loja. I don't, I wouldn't recommend Loja, and I'm sure not going to recommend Olong. Now, the, here's the reason, the, here's my reasons, okay? I wouldn't go to Loja because it's too far south. It's too far away from everything else. There's not very many English-speaking people there. It's a small place. It just wouldn't cut it for me. Olon, Olon is a beach community with nothing but dirt roads and cloudy skies. And I know so many people that have gone to Olon and ended up leaving. But I also have friends that live there and love it there and would probably never go anywhere else. Cuenca is, to me, in my opinion, about the closest thing you're going to come to uh, as paradise in Ecuador. If you can handle the altitude. The altitude can be a problem for a lot of people. It's at 8,300 feet above sea level. I was there for a month and I suffered every day. But that's just me. I have COPD. You can probably hear it in my voice. Some people say they can, some don't. But, you know, I, I couldn't do it. But anyway, on to the money, the money part. Yeah, you're, you're financially, you're going to be in great shape. Uh, unless, you know, Ecuador just takes a big dump. Inflation-wise, right now, I think inflation in Ecuador is, I think it's less than 2%. I think somebody may want to correct me on that, but it's definitely not like it is in the States. Everything in Ecuador is cheaper than in the United States, okay? But, but I want to give you some word of caution about that. There are people that come here thinking that they're going to retire on $500 a month and live in heavenly bliss in paradise and experience the unicorns and rainbows and have a wonderful life. But I'm telling you, folks, in my opinion, I, if I only had $500 a month, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be in Ecuador. No way. Now, maybe you can pick a very remote location out in the mountains somewhere. I'm sure there are places you can go where you can make it on $500 a month, but you're not going to have ocean view, mountain views. You're not going to have, it's, it's, it, it just don't do it, okay? Don't even try it. Maybe the younger people can do it and live in a hut, a bamboo hut, and where you may have electricity, you may not, may have hot water, most likely not. And so just don't think about it. $2,000 a month is a reasonable expectations. I live a very comfortable lifestyle in Monta on $2,000 a month or less. Sometimes I spend more than that. Um... I live in probably one of the most costly cities in Ecuador to live in, you know, because it's on the coast. It's a beach town. It's a party town, holiday town, noisy frickin' town. But my girlfriend is there, and I love her, and I'll probably be there for the rest of my life because of her, I think. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, yeah, you, you will be very well set. If, if you have the cash reserves like you're talking about, you, you know, you could, after you've been here for a year, then I would say you can go looking for a place to buy, you know. Real estate is not a bad investment in Ecuador. You hear some people say it's easier to buy than it is to sell. Maybe so, maybe no. I don't know. Uh, you hear everything when you come down here. You're going to hear everything. So, but yeah, buy a CD. I get 9.30% on my 14-month CD that I currently have at JEP Cooperative. And it pays me well every month. Now, I'm doing exactly what I tell everybody not to do. I put all my eggs in one basket, but I don't have that much anyway. So I'm, I'm, I'm risking about, well, I'm not going to say. I'm risking a little bit of money, you know, um, but... If you're going to invest a substantial amount of money, don't forget that the Cosidi insurance only covers you for $32,000 per bank, per sector, okay? And I have videos in my index list that explain all that. And I encourage you that if you want to talk to a banker about that, get in touch with Avier Bermudez. I'll put a link to his 
his information in the description. So, yeah, relax, man. I think you'll be okay. You'll have, based on what your figures you told me, and assuming that that's all the truth, and I believe it is, <clears throat> you should have a very nice, comfortable lifestyle. You'll be able to live in, if you live on the coast, you'll be in a, you'll be able to afford a penthouse, you know, with an ocean view. There's not that many beachfront properties, but there there are some, you know. Um, you can, yeah, you can, you, you can live well. I would say, come on. But while you're down here, go look at Argentina and go look at Chile. Go look at Peru. Okay. I got my sights on Argentina, but I don't know when. I don't know when. Now watch. Everybody in the world's going to say, oh, Don's moving to Argentina. And I wish that boy would settle down because you people don't listen. But I do have my sight set on Argentina. I have my sight set on Panama. I have my sights set on Mexico. And I really, to tell you the truth, I would really like to just come back to the U.S., but I just don't think it's going to be ever going to be feasible again. So go, come on down, John. Get your money. Come on down. Hook up with Avier at JEP Cooperative. Get your visa. You know, hook up with a, a visa facilitator. Go ahead and pay the money to have it done correctly, and um, you'll have a nice life, okay? Just like me, I guess. I think my life is pretty reasonable, pretty nice. I don't have as much as you do, but I'm close. Uh, but I'm also quite a bit older, so you got you got a lot to look forward to. Good luck to you, John. I think you're going to be uh, happy with with your decisions, and if you you know, oh, and I do want to say. If you can afford it, do an exploratory trip, okay? Do an exploratory trip. Go down there and stay for a month or so. Six months. You can do six months, boy. That's really smart. And see what happens, okay? That's all I got for this, this one, folks. Thanks so much for watching this channel and subscribing to this channel. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, bite me. And I'll see you that with peace and love. See you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.